so burdened, I felt so bad, I felt so like I was useless in some sort of way because I was listening in Chinese. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why, okay, I'm gonna give you a fact. When you're coming to study in China, there are two options. There are two options. It's either you are going to come and study in English or you're going to come and study in Chinese. So there are all benefits of why you should study in English and why should you study why you should study in Chinese. So I know a lot of people are wondering, like Rose, when I'm coming to China, am I going to study in French? Can I study in French? Because in my country we only speak French. You understand? Or am I going to start study in African language? Because in my country we can only speak African language. No? Darling. When you're coming to China, you're having two options. One is you're going to study in Chinese or you're going to study in English. And if you're going to study in English, that means your professors are going to try to teach you in English. Now imagine these are in Chinese professors who are trying to experiment teaching you in English. So that's the first thing. Studying in English is a good thing and it is also a bad thing because not all professors are able to speak good English. Some of them are able to speak good English because they've gone abroad, they've like studied abroad and it, it's good. You, you, you're gonna like learn a little bit more easier but passing on the knowledge from a professor to a student while the professor is not really good in English, that's just an disadvantage. So yes, when you come to China, you'll be having two options. Either you're going to study in Chinese or you're gonna study in English. And those who are studying in English, I hear most of them are complaining like my professor cannot speak English very well my professor cannot say like teach me very well so it's a little bit hard when you are studying in English that is the disadvantage of studying in English the professor might not be really like the language skill might not be that efficient and that perfect to try to give you the knowledge so a lot of students come to, to in China and they start end up like complaining that their professors are not able to speak good English but also it doesn't really matter if your professor is giving you like it doesn't matter there's so much on the internet that you can learn from like if you don't really need your professor for everything yeah but the professor still needs to be a little bit more fluent in english so that you they can pass on and give you proper guidance in your education so two options i say it's you're studying in chinese or you're studying in english right so i gave the disadvantage of studying in english also the students that are studying in english i heard that they don't really have enough facilities you know because program that are catered in English are still under experimenting you know experiment it's an experiment so people are still they're still uh, trying their best to give the best service to foreign students but it's not that perfect yet so it's a little bit hard yeah it's a little bit hard like you are in China and you're studying in English so it's a little bit hard but second the second option for you to study to study while you're in China is you studying in Chinese now for me myself i studied in chinese and let me tell you the, the honest truth like all the time when i sat in those classrooms i didn't catch anything maybe 20 percent or 30 percent my course was more it was more an advantage because we had more visual arts like you could see things you don't really have to listen but imagine studying in chinese medicine in chinese like how much of listening is required for you to study in, 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 in like medicine in Chinese. So yeah, I studied in Chinese. I can tell you the truth that studying in Chinese is not, not easy at all. So if you're coming to China, you need to like be strong. You need to bring on that like strong muscle as I mentioned in one of my videos, like yes. So studying in Chinese, the benefit of studying in Chinese is that you are like treated more like a Chinese student. You are not, you are given all the resources, you are given everything, but the disadvantage of that is that you will not really understand everything 100%. Like I, I sat in those classrooms and I felt so, so burdened, I felt so bad, I felt so like I was useless in some sort of way because I was listening in Chinese, man, I was learning everything in Chinese and I am learning everything in Chinese, so it was just a little bit hard. So that is, I just want to give you guys the clear picture of Coming to China, you will study either in English or Chinese, and they are all having disadvantages in a way. However, for me, I would definitely um, advise someone to study in Chinese because 
you're, you're gonna learn Chinese and second you're gonna learn your major in Chinese so that's just like a double benefit you know yeah it doesn't really make sense you in China and you're trying your best to be like learning in English because this is not an English country you know so yeah that that is it about learning whether like that that's it that that is it for about learning in China whether you're gonna learn in which language you are mostly going to learn in Chinese or China or English so thank you guys for watching this video until my next video stay humble stay positive and work hard towards your goal I hope this video was helpful and goodbye all right